Get great deals on the latest phones, tablets, and business apps with O2 Business. Hey guys, you're watching BTEC. I'm Basil. This is an iPhone SE. This is an iPhone 5S. They look identical. Sure, we've got the black and white one, but side by side, you can very, very clearly see these aren't just cut from the same cloth. They are the same design through and through, but the internals are different. This video is all about Touch ID. We're going to test out whether or not one Touch ID works better than the other. So we've got them both switched off. I'm going to power them, get them to a home screen state, and thumb on, unlock, thumb on, unlock. It actually felt like they were pretty similar in terms of the speeds. How about from off? Just touch, unlock, touch, unlock. Again, similar speeds, which is pretty good going. This tech has held up um, for a good amount of time in the 5 S. Um, one thing I have found was in the little time we've had the SE, the um, un touch unlocking was a little bit um, more, dare I say, temperamental on the 5S. So every now and then if I didn't get my finger perfectly on, it would mess up. Whereas the SE seemed to be a little bit more consistent with the unlocking. Having said that, and clearly gauging by this video, both of them form similarly, and therefore you can be pretty, pretty confident that the SE with things like Apple Pay and all the other elements that Touch ID rely upon should do a decent job. If you've got any questions, anything you want us to try out on the SE, let us know in the comments section below. Like this video, click like, like the channel, subscribe. It's how you're gonna stay on top of everything that we do. Thanks for watching BTIC. Get great deals on the latest phones, tablets, and business apps with O2 Business.